Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very fun video. Today I'm going to be doing a review. I really like doing reviews on my channel because it's like my favorite thing ever. I like to try new products out and give it to you, like, and show you guys um, what the product's all about. But um, this is a first impression, so I don't know. Um, I state this in the video, so I don't know like how it's gonna be all day. You just have to stay tuned and follow me on social media to know how it does. Um, and I'm going to be reviewing from the title, the Airspun Powder, which looks a little something like this. Okay, that is what that looks like. This you can get at Walmart and um, Walgreens. I'm pretty sure, I think it's Walmart and Walgreens. I've never seen it at CVS. Um, it is going to be more expensive at Walgreens. It's gonna be probably about $9, but if you buy it at um, Walmart is gonna be about five to six dollars, so that's pretty great. It's you get a lot, a lot of products. Like all this for five dollars. This is 2.3 ounces, 65 grams. If that's the units you use, I'm gonna be comparing it a lot in my video to the Sasha Buttercup setting powder because you know if you have been on my channel a lot and part of my growing family for a while, you know that that's like legit all I would use. But I wanted to introduce something new to my channel um for you guys, so that's why I decided to pick up the Airspun. So comes with this little poof thing right here but I didn't use that in the video so I used my sponge and I got it in the color translucent extra coverage later bye I went ahead and um highlighted and contoured my face fresh um nothing has been set yet go ahead and do my whole face with the air spun instead of like comparing the Sasha um buttercup powder with it this is my first impression so I'm going to go ahead and set this how I set normally with my um Sasha Buttercup. If you want to know how I did my foundation, um, I did my foundation the same, the same exact way, using the same exact products, brushes, and everything, um, as my updated foundation routine, which is linked in the bio. For my contour routine and highlight routine, that is basically the same from the video I have out now, which I will link in the description box. I'm gonna be taking my setting brush from Real Techniques, which looks like this, which is kind of dirty, sorry. And um, I'm going to be taking the HC Finishing Powder um, from NYX, which looks like this, and this is just um, their HD powder and translucent and I'm going to be just taking that um, on the brush I go in the downward stroke it does have a little bit of fallout um, but this is actually my favorite honestly I really love this powder it's really mattifying if you could tell can you tell now we're gonna move on to the air spun um, like I said in the intro I got this in um, translucent it's um, I got it in translucent. My biggest fear is that this is going to leave a white cast on my face. But I, other reviews say it's a brown girl friendly. So if you're a brown girl, um, then you should be fine, they say. But this is translucent extra coverage. It does come with a little poof puffer. I really do like this. I think it's so cute, but I'm probably not going to use that. I'm probably going to go ahead and use my sponge just to get it on. The one thing I don't like is the top. It's kind of weird, but um, it has an old lady smell to me. I don't know just smells like an old lady so I'm gonna take some on my sponge like this and I'm just gonna oh lord my sponge is dry by the way I'm scared said in the intro I wanted to introduce some new products because I'm always using like the same products because I get hooked on things and I don't like change per se so I'm very excited. Now I did always want to um, to try this because. So when I bake, I bake like. It's very um. I can tell you, I I could probably still do a um video on the differences, like compare and contrast between Sasha Buttercup powder and this right now I can tell you the difference between the buttercup powder and this um, is that this is a translucent powder so this is um, white per se versus the yellow um, tint of like a lot of different powders a lot of powders um, for a while we had that's too much on my nose Jesus Christ looking in the viewfinder and I look nuts honestly it doesn't look that like crazy looking in my mirror but on camera it's like coming off as bananas but yeah so I'm just going to go ahead and let this bake I'm going to now apply some bronzer I'm gonna bronze my face I try to do this before I um bake but 
I'd be forgetting. I'd be so excited to bake. But when I was, I will tell you, when I was getting this powder, I did look on YouTube real fast in the middle of Walmart because I was like, look, I don't want to waste $5 buying this and I don't even like it. But I was also looking at the other colors they have. So like I said, if you don't know, I mean, I'm very late with this. Like, like I said, Patrick Starr uses this, other YouTubers use this. So I'm pretty like um, late in the game. So you may know just all about this product, but they have um, honey beige, I think they have. And then they have translucent extra coverage. And then they have um, neutral natural. I was in between. I wanted to, they had the honey beige. And the honey beige kind of has more of a peachy tone to me. And I was like, oh, I don't want nothing peachy or nothing like that. So I didn't go ahead and get that. But then the, um, they were all out of neutral natural. And I feel like I remember, because I've been trying to buy this for months now before I even left her school. Um, the neutral natural i can't remember what it looks like but i was like maybe that'd be a little bit better to use versus the translucent because it may give a white cast and um the neutral natural may not but they were all out so i just went ahead and got the translucent so hopefully if all is good um i'll like it i'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes and um let this bake for about 10 minutes and i'll so this is it this is the finished look with the airspun powder okay so let me take it out for you actually um like i said um in the intro i got the translucent extra coverage powder that looks like this and this is what the top looks like and everything um oh what is that on my nail do i like this powder yes i do like this powder right now i'm just looking at my face like oh i really do like it it is different for me because i'm sorry my mirror's right there but it is different for me because i am used to using the sasha buttercup powder I like nice to introduce something new to my channel and things like that and something new for myself and figuring out how to work with it but i really do like it i think it is very brightening um but it gives a different type of brightening than the yellow. Translucent really does give you more of a natural glow. It's very mattifying though, like very, very mattifying. Very fine. It's not the finest. It has an old lady kind of scent. It reminds me of like playing in my grandma's makeup when I was little. I guess a con I would say for it is that you can pick up a lot of powder because this is very, very loose. As you can see, like it's a lot in there like that came out so it's pretty loose um and it comes with a little fluffer like i said earlier but i didn't use the fluffer i probably wouldn't set my whole face with it personally if you are a brown girl because i think um it can make it look bright <clears throat> and not in all the right places so i wouldn't do that and now i'm really liking it. it really melts into the skin nicely i use the beauty blender dry so if you use it wet it may melt even more a plus for me i really do like it thus far um would i trade like stop using sasha no i'm still gonna use it but i probably will use it less now um than the than before and if i run out i won't feel so like urgent to go get some more because i have um air spun i do think this is brown girl friendly hope you guys really enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye